afternoon, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you with uh, part two of the SSD installation. Um, I was going to all do it in one part, but again, I didn't want the video to be too long, so I figured after I've used it for a day, and it's actually been about a day, um, I want to give you my thoughts on how everything is going. Um, so far, everything looks pretty good. I did, unfortunately, have one uh, BSOD or blue screen of death earlier. Um, I'm not sure why, but according to everything, all my diagnostics, the SSD is running fine, so it may just have been a fluke, something totally unrelated. But I do have some information on here for you, so without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I have Crystal Disk Info version uh, 6.7.5 up. And I wanted to have it check the SSD. As you can see, it is a cru crucial. They show it as a CT250MX. I'm not going to read that whole thing, but it is indeed a 250 gigabyte SSD. It shows that the health status is 100% good. Uh, temperature is at 35 degrees Celsius, which is perfectly fine. That's about where I'd expect it to be. Uh, you see some of the prudent information there. Um, power on count 12, uh, power on hours 3, because it's basically a brand new SSD. There's your transfer. You have uh, SATA um, 600, so it should be 600 megabits per second. Now, you're never going to realistically get that, but you know, hopefully get somewhere at least semi-close to that. Yeah, you can see some of the information there. Um, everything looks good. Uh, the erase fall count, the uh, program fail, oh, fail count, I'm sorry, the program failure, everything's still uh, where it should be. So, uh, yeah, obviously they sold me a good working SSD. Next, we're going to go over to CPU ID. This is the uh, hardware monitor. And to show you some of the temperatures, everything seems to be where it should be. Um, if you look down here, you can see my CPU temperatures are hovering anywhere between, say, 38 and 42 degrees Celsius. And that's, again, very, more than acceptable for a system like this. And if I scroll down here, we can go to the hard drives themselves. Uh, now, that one said the SSD was at 35 degrees Celsius. This one is saying it's 34, which is normal because this is real time, whereas this just kind of takes a snapshot every time you open it up. And I'm very pleased with that. Um, the video card's running a little warm, but again, fully acceptable for a card of this nature. Um, I would say anything under 50 degrees Celsius is, is acceptable. If it started getting past, say, 52 degrees Celsius, maybe up to 55, then I'd worry that uh, I might need some extra cooling power in there. But like I said, as it stands, everything here seems to be working fine. Uh, the last bit of information I have is a benchmark that I did the other day. Now, bear in mind, I've only run this once, so it may improve over time. At the time I was doing this, I actually was also installing another program, so the times may be a little bit higher um, the next time I run it, and I'm using the ASSSD benchmark. This is a program that is specifically designed for benchmarking solid-state drives. And there are the, there's the information there, as you can see, the sequential, which is always the fastest. The read time was uh, 498.66 megabits per second, the write 458.28. Uh, 4K was at 26.72 read, and then, of course, uh, 103.07 write, and you can read the rest of that there. Um, the actual scores for this, for the reading score, it was uh, 418, write score was 429, and then the total score was 1067, so not bad. Um, I would have liked to have seen the sequential read a little bit higher. I would have liked to have seen that maybe around 520, 530. And when I get a chance later on to run the tests, um, I may actually get a better score. But like I said, this is something I just haven't had a chance to do as of right now. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a boot time test. I have my stopwatch application running here. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to do my best to start this as soon as I hit the button. So... Let's see what we can do. Now, bearing in mind, it takes a minute to go through the BIOS anyway, so we'll see what this is. Alright, the system is booted up, so... 
say about 25 26 seconds and that is absolutely incredible considering that to get to this point before I put this in with my old hard drive would take a good minute and a half to two minutes so I must say as of right now I am very very impressed with this SSD well that's all the information I have for you guys right now I guarantee you there will be more videos on this computer um, once I learn uh, some more about the SSD I'll probably be doing some more benchmark tests in the near future hope you guys enjoyed this please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day everybody